everybody, I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion. Uh, it's a little dark in here. Yeah, why don't you shed some light on these projects? How about a hurricane candle? Or a marquee letter. Or a Mod Podge lampshade. Today is all about lighting. In this episode, we're going to be doing lots of different projects that are going to be great for your home decor. And they're really good for first apartment because everything is on a budget. So let's get started. Let's do it. Uh... I think we're gonna need some light. I can't work in the dark. I'm starting with a marquee letter blank and antique Mod Podge because I want this to have a distressed look. I'm just gonna apply some of the antique Mod Podge to the letter just to give it a little bit of an antique look. Next, you're gonna to wanna to apply Mod Podge and paper to your letter insert. Punch holes where the lights are gonna go. Now I'm just gonna add some more distress by rubbing an ink pad on there and then adding antique Mod Podge to the top with a spouncer. Of course, I need a little glitter, so I'll sprinkle a little glitter on top. Now I'm ready to do the outside. I'm just gonna attach paper all the way around the outside in the same way and add some more of that ink. I'm gonna top coat it with Antique Mod Podge. Once it's dry, you can just assemble your letter back together and it's super easy. Now I just need some lights. I am so smitten with these marquee letters and my favorite thing about them is that you can customize them to any look just by selecting the scrapbook paper of your choice. They're gonna make great gifts. Oh, these will be killer for the holidays. And next, I'm going to show you how to frost a hurricane using ultra matte chalk Mod so Podge. Cool. And we're gonna use collage clay to stencil right on top of this three-dimensional images. And I've got a quick way to recover a lampshade using fabric and fabric Mod Podge. Clean your hurricane with rubbing alcohol. Working in an up and down motion, paint the hurricane with ultra matte chalk Mod Podge. Once dry, add a second coat. Lightly secure your stencil. Don't press the tape too hard. Tint collage clay with folk art paints. Spounce over your stencil. Add some glitter. Once the clash clay is dry, brush off excess glitter. Covering a lampshade with Mod Podge and fabric is super simple. Just grab some fabric and trim of your choice. Next, you're going to want to trim the fabric to fit your lampshade. You'll need it to fit all the way around and have a little overhang on each side. I've pressed down this edge and I'm going to seal it and glue it with fabric Mod Podge. Next, I'm just applying fabric Mod Podge all over my lampshade. Now this works on paper lampshades or fabric lampshades. Start on one side and position your fabric on 
and then just keep rolling it and smoothing it around the lampshade until it's completely covered. Glue that extra flap down and that'll give you a nice finished look. Add some Mod Podge around the inside edge there and then just roll that over. You're gonna do this on both sides. Next, I'm using my Mod Melter and I'm going to attach some really cool trim around the edge. And then just cut it to size and voila. Isn't it incredible that this little bottle of Mod Podge creates all these lighting projects for your home decor? Yeah, on a budget and easy to do too. If you want to see more Mod Podge videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, I think it's time we turn the lights out on this episode. I think so too. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.